hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm just gonna get right into the video because it is kind of late so i'm going to be doing a wash and go combo something that i haven't tried but i like uh these two products individually and i just wanted to kind of put them together and see um this is not good <laughs> oh sorry so i'm going to be using the african pride moisture miracle Shea butter and flaxseed oil, moisturize and defining curling cream, which I have a video on this when I did a cream only wash and go like my first ever that actually worked and I like just picked this up when I was out of town and I got in the pool and I needed to wash my hair so I picked up a couple of cheap products because I didn't bring any products with me so this is something I use. And it was it's really easy to detangle with this and everything the fine curls so this is one product and then the other product is the wet line extreme gel um i used this particular one like once but um i haven't really used that i've been really using my style factor or um my main choice gel but I decided to go with this today um just because I have I'm trying to use up all my gels with me so my hair is already freshly washed and deep conditioned um there isn't really any product on there the only product the only thing I have on here is, is some oil just to kind of seal in the water um so this is what my hair is looking like. It's very, very soft. But I'm not using the leave-in, so that's why I put the oil for the water. I already have a bottle of warm water. Straight my hair because I usually do this in the shower. So yeah, so I'm actually just gonna section off the front of my hair so I can kind of figure out how I want my parts to go in the front give me a little bit more leeway yeah. so I'm gonna put this out the way that looks crazy so and then I'm gonna do this So, let's see, I'm just going to divide it in half to make it easier on myself. This is a natural thing to do. Jeez, this is like so out of whack. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to actually make this a smaller section. Mind you, I usually, I've started doing my wash and goes in the shower. It's just a lot easier because of the water. So I'm going to take, I'm going to get this nice and wet. I'm not going to use any styling tools. I just like to do it with my fingers. I feel like I get the best definition that way. Water is everywhere. My hair is nice and soaked, and apparently my shirt. So this is how my hair is looking prior to any product on it. It's already really curly and defined ish. So I'll go in with the cream. Let me open up everything. I'm just unprepared. So I'm going to go in about this much cream. Mind you, it's not really thick at all. It smells great. Just rubbing this in, trying to figure the tangling a little bit. So I'm going to have to 
is in the chamber as possible. So I go between the rank the ranking method and the praying hands method, the smooth method, whatever. That's because I'm putting a little bit more on my roots. That's because the ranking method I feel like make it look too separated. Sometimes I shingle depending on how the curls look. I did this a long, I used this a couple years ago. Just when my hair was a lot shorter too. So this is how it's looking. It's all nice and shiny. It is really defined. Like super defined. My hair feels really good. Okay. The only thing I would say is the roots. So I must put a little bit more water. Mind you, this is I think I already said this. This is warm water. I have low porosity, so it helps. So, I'm going to grab about this much of gel. I'm going to start at my roots, actually. Just bring it down. I don't think I'm going to have to use that much gel. I am. My ends feel a little rough. I'm just gonna comb out the ends to smooth them out a little bit. Let's get there. Alright, so I'm breaking to separate. Make a little smaller curls. Here it is. This is what it's looking like. The gel is definitely weighing it down. I'm gonna have a little bit more, just just a little bit more, not that much, because it is really thick. Just around my roots. And then I'm gonna shingle a little bit. So I'm taking about a million pieces. So I'm not really manipulating the curl, I'm really just smoothing my hand down the curls to make sure there's no extra frizz, just clumping. This is how it looks right now. Very defined. They like way down, which I like. So I'm gonna do the rest of my head. Just let you watch because this video is getting really long.
my hair is what is the word? It's defined, it's done, it's still pretty wet, but it looks really fun. It smells so good. I'm not even gonna lie. Don't worry, the white residue does go away. Let me give you the back. This is how the back is looking. So I do shake my hair a little bit to kind of get everything in place. Just move some products in certain areas. Making sure. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer so this can set. I can really stop messing with it to be honest. So yeah, I'll be back when this is fully dry. Either tonight or tomorrow it is really late. So I'll see you guys in the next one.